Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here uh, today. Who else is pumped to see the S.H.I.E.L.D. back together? S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, announced uh, that they're going to have, well I guess the S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't announce. They sort of you know, took over Raw last night, uh, beating up everybody. Beating up Miz, beating up Cesaro, beating up Sheamus, uh, beating up Braun Strowman. Uh, and basically Kurt Angle came up with it and finally said, hey, you guys want it? We're going to do it. We're going to have the Shield uh, versus Miz versus Cesaro versus Sheamus in TLC at the TLC pay-per-view coming up here in October. I believe this is two weeks away. Um, this is going to be a really fun match. Um, the Shield, um, I can honestly tell you that when the Shield was together um, doing... Um, what is the way to say it? Is it a six-man tag? Is it a three-man tag? Is it six-man because there's three on three? I've always been mixed up on this, um, but uh, uh, you know, it, it, when the Shield was together, and the Shield had matches where basically it was them three against three other guys, whether if it was you know Kane, Daniel Bryan, Ryback, John Cena, Sheamus, Randy Orton, it seemed like those six guys sort of got mixed into different tag matches, whether if it was on SmackDown, whether if it was on Raw, um, whether if it was on Pay Per View, they tore the house down. Who can remember when it was Team Hell No and Ryback um, going up against the Shield? I believe that was the TLC match. And that wasn't even the match that they had planned. That match got thrown together basically because that year CM Punk had an injury, wasn't going to be able to work the pay-per-view, and the Ryback versus uh, Punk match got scrapped. They actually had to do that a few weeks later on Monday Night Raw. And that was a match that just honestly just sort of got put together. Um, for some reason, I can remember it being at a cha at the Chamber pay-per-view. I think they put the dream team of Randy Orton, John Cena, and Sheamus together going up against the Shield. And, I mean, the Shield were dominant. They had awesome matches, um, really planned out where all three of those guys um, got to look... I, I can't believe it because I'm going to bring it up because of the uh, CM Punk match. But they got to look strong. They all got to get their moves in. And you sort of learned who these guys are. And just, they always sort of had a strategy of picking apart the other team. Uh, maybe finding out who the weak uh, member of the team was. Taking them out. And um, basically, you know, sort of eliminating them. Um, and, and making the match three on two. Where you're going to win every time if you have those odds. Um, I, the, Sh the Shield was undefeated for, I believe two years in in the uh, in the three on three um, style of match you gotta favor them um, it's not like you know well Am I, I can honestly can see Ambrose and Rollins dropping the tag titles um, before the match on TLC um, so if I would also bet you know they've already got Roman uh, versus uh, uh, Braun Strowman in the cage match. I wouldn't be surprised that they also have um, the bar um, versus uh, uh, Ambrose and uh, Rollins on Monday Night Raw announced. Because honestly, in my mind, um, if you could use those numbers, um, because I, I I could see the Roman cage match turning almost into a four-on-one affair. Strowman's not on the team, but I honestly could see um, uh, Miz, Sheamus, and Cesaro coming down to the cage, getting in into it. Um, and, and using that advantage to make it a, a four-on-one match inside the steel cage. And also, if you have Ambrose and um, Rollins, and they're able to be defeated and maybe even injured um, during a, a, a tag match, you already have the Shield losing and then also getting beat up, so they're not able to come out and save Roman. So they all look deflated before the pay-per-view, and you, look, you, you make Miz, Cesaro, and Sheamus look really, really strong before it. Um, this is going to be a really, really good match. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, as you can see, this is like the preview uh, for it. And I got more questions than this about what's going to happen on Raw um, next week before the pay-per-view. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them drop the tag titles. I wouldn't be surprised to see them try and take somebody out of the Shield. Uh, it was also kind of funny that you know the shield to come back together and they got t-shirts the next time you see them not even an hour later like like wwe was just printing them out like oh fuck the shields back together we were ready for this let's start selling these suckers um so um i i guess we sort of saw this coming with the week before 
uh, with them coming together backstage. But it was, it was also funny. They, they reunite in front of the crowd. And they come back to beat up Strowman later, and they already have the shirts on. So uh, definitely WWE needs to sell those suckers. So um, we'll see. The Hounds of Justice back together. Uh, I honestly had them getting their asses kicked on Raw. But, I mean, I would bet the farm. I'd bet the whole house, and I'd find a way to bet my neighbor's house that the Shield are going to win this match at TLC.